Hey, uh, so I'll shoot a qu quick video here to show you how to use the new um, Zapier integration. So here we go. We have, uh, let's take an entry from a Google Sheet, pass it onto Imagine API, get the results and update it on Google Sheet again. So we'll go in the sheet, uh, new or updated row. Pretend we're doing image backups or something. Okay. We're going to choose a trigger column. I have a prompt column in there, so. Okay, we'll test it. All right, let's get this one going. And then we're going to pass it onto the Imagine API. It's exciting. So let me know if these are clear. We want to. Generate image. For the prompt, we want to type in the prompt from the Google Sheet. Boom. Let's go test this step. Whoops, I have used up my credits for that demo account. So let's go back. Uh, step. Okay, so we get the scale to URL, URL, perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, delay because we need to wait for uh, the image to actually generate. Test uh, and then we'll go and get the image. Uh, generate image, where did that get generated image? We don't want to do that, we want to get the image that was generated right here. That's the image ID. Uh, whatever that says, we want to say now. Test step. Um, so here's the fields. That should be fine. They don't have data right now because it's not finished generating yet. So we'll go and update a Google Sheet. Update spreadsheet row. Okay. Image backups. The row, we just want to get that same row ID as we had initially. We don't want to touch with the prompt field. The grid image here, we want to get that. Grid image URL. From step four, and then we want to get one, two, second image, uh, three, And four. Okay, um, I think the image should be generated by now, so let's go ahead and refresh this data. I hope it's not deleted, is it? No, that should be fine. So let's go refresh this data or refresh this test. Retest step right. Okay, so here we go. That image has come in. Sweet. Now we can use it to test step. Looks good, so we can just publish it. In order to authenticate, we can go to apps here 
and then search for Elagin API. Uh, so we click connect. And here it's going to ask for Imagine API instance URL. If you're using a demo account and you just want to test this during demo, you can just use that. Otherwise, if it's your own server that you're running, it might be some sort of an IP 855 like that, some sort of an IP address. If it's an IP address like this, make sure you don't have a S here, so HTTP, no S. Uh, otherwise, if you're on one of our cloud plans, it's going to be something like this. CL and then XX for our number here. Imagine API you get uh, And then the authentication token, you're going to get that from your account when you log into the main API. So I'm logged in here. Go down here. This is the token right here. You regenerate it, copy it, and then save it. Don't forget to save it. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to change mine, but that's the process of regenerating, or that's the process of authenticating. So then you paste it in here, and then you're good to go.